Jay Schlatt. <laughs> Behind this YouTube funny man persona is a complicated and messy relationship with Minecraft. I would know. I asked him myself. Despite his mixed feelings. Then I'm just another Minecraft YouTuber again and I don't want that to happen. I would argue this not even that huge of a YouTuber is why the game is still alive. The year was 2018. Everyone thought Minecraft was dead in the water, but literally at its all-time low, I suppose the simplicity of my 7th grade life coincided pretty well with the simplicity of Minecraft. Schlatt released a tribute to Minecraft. The video went over his experience with it as a kid, and how now, it sort of lost its charm to him. And it resonated with a lot of people. But this video was only the spark. Um, so this is the entrance to my house. Uh, got a nice door here. Cursed Minecraft started blowing up. It seemed like Minecraft was cringe and they were making fun of it. But after Dream blew up with these videos, he started uploading genuine Minecraft gameplays and it worked. No one watched Cursed Minecraft to laugh at a cringe kids game. It was nostalgia. God, I hate that word. So anyway, this gave two funny YouTubers an idea. Do you think a creator SMP would work in 2019? Probably not. Shh dude i'm gonna go professionally smoke weed let's make it smp and with that smp live was born the two owners invited a bunch of their friends some older minecraft youtubers and slide who'd never spoken to any of them but he kind of missed playing the game so he figured he might as well oh you bastard he, he did it. And people thought he was hilarious. I also think Schlatt's clips on SMP Live were part of why Minecraft became cool again. But Schlatt wasn't the only funny person on the server, so why did he have so much more success? Well, for a while, he didn't. But he started playing this character, partially based on growing up in New York, but most of it's from his childhood favorite YouTubers. Spending so many of his formative years watching YouTube, it naturally became the only job he wanted to do. One way or another, he was gonna find a way to make it work. And whether he liked it or not, this loud persona is what got views. But he was starting to have a problem. Junior year of college is when his classes became too much to handle. So he sat his parents down for a serious conversation. What, am I gonna tell people my son's a dropout? Bitch, I'm literally making more than if I stayed. Do not speak to your mother that way. Oh, yes. oh. Slot didn't want to throw away the opportunity of a lifetime. So? He dropped out. With more time than ever to dedicate to content creation, he grew considerably faster. It seems like he really struck gold with this persona he created. But Schlatt was still afraid people were only watching for Minecraft for some reason. So upload slowed down, and he tried his best to move away. As much as he loved Minecraft, he was deathly afraid of being just another Minecraft YouTuber. Unfortunately though, this problem was about to get a whole lot worse. Around this time, Tommy Innit had been blowing up by copying Schlatt. This then got the attention of Dream, who invited Tommy to the Dream SMP. Boys, we are playing on Dream's SMP. Up here. I have so many. Hello. I do, I do. Tommy was like Schlatt's biggest fan, and he just invited him without asking. What's up, man? What the hell is this? That's, that's, uh, George. Oh, oh you gotta tell me what the hell's going on. Remember, we ain't shit without our boss. Well, there I go. Oh, and, and... That's it. Schlatt got banned, because he wasn't supposed to be there. But the fans really liked him. For now, we'll get to that. And they wanted him back. So less than three months later, he was officially invited. Tommy must have pulled every string. And Schlatt was starting to miss SMP Live, so he accepted. Adding his character to the dynamic on the server. I I've got my it. endorsement. Here he comes. Yeah, he's back. Oh, no. Presidency. You the think script, you need a president? It. I'll be my own president. Schlatt 2020 has been ah. inaugurated. Yeah. <laughs> Upon winning the election, Schlatt immediately started abusing his power. My first decree is to Yes, of <laughs> Actually, that one was a good move. But throughout this, and arguably because of it, the Dream SMP was growing exponentially, taking Minecraft with it. And all this narrative tension Schlatt and the other members were building was coming to a climax. But before we reach our climax, I have an announcement. I've sold the f*** out. You can now get a Skyboy plushie. For the next month, if we're able to sell 200 of these, they'll be shipped out in real life. It's only $30, and you'll get a complete refund if we don't sell all 200. And it arrives right around Christmas. It took so long to make that the eyes are still brown. Anyway, back to the Dream SMP lore. With Schlatt's brutal leadership, the rest of the server was fed up, and they declared war. This is the ball. I am ready for revolution, boys. Oh my god, they're shooting! Oh, He's got enchanted god oh, apples. His dream, his dream! Get his dream! Where? He's right there, he's right there! Wait, where did Schlatt go? He escaped into chaos. The tyrant we once feared had become nothing more than a drunken wreck. Oh, well, we're... Schlatt, are you ready to have this end now? Are you ready to die? Schlatt? Huh? Hello? <laughs> what? Hello? This was the last time Schlatt ever logged on. 
properly. He probably could have come back, but turns out a lot of the fan base was just like girls with crushes on Tommy in it. I mean, look at the gender ratio of his comedy tour. So there's a lot of weird shit. And they were also very unhappy with how edgy Schlatt could be sometimes. So because he didn't comply and become more brand friendly, he became public enemy number one. Can someone do the world a favor and get rid of this man? So he gave them what they wanted and left. Because Schlatt stuck to his values, his career thrived even without the server. Contrast this to someone like Quackity, whose original fan base before joining sees him as cringe. The Dream SMP continued their weird lore without Schlatt. At least to me though, the only memorable parts were when he was in it. After Dream SMP, it became 10 times harder for Schlatt to escape the Minecraft YouTuber label. This game he'd always loved had become so tied up in the stressful world of content creation, he couldn't even look at a creeper without thinking of dream ship art. So, he did something drastic. We made a bot to scrape every single Twitch account that had Carl Jacobs not found, was taken in it, all of them. Gentlemen, if you are part of the lucky few, this is what it's all about. <laughs> They were gone. Actually, only like 3,000. This list is very incomplete, but it sent a message. Dream SMP didn't define him. TikTok reactions did. After banning 3,000 of the stands, he immediately invited Tommy onto the stream. He literally just did it to piss them off. They could complain all they want that he was a controversial homophobic piece of shit. But at the end of the day, he was still hanging out with Dream SMP golden boy Tommy in it. By sticking to his values, he earned a different fan base interested in him. They'll follow whatever he decides to do, which a lot of the time happens to be Minecraft. Whenever he touches it, a new batch of players start their own little two-week Minecraft phases. And every time he touches it, it's because of the good times he used to have. Like recently, he made what a lot of people are calling SMP Live 2. It's actually called SDMP, which, never mind. But he and his old buddies just mess around on there and have fun. Schlatt isn't a dream SMP YouTuber, he's not even really a Minecraft YouTuber, but because Minecraft gave him so many wonderful memories in his childhood, he never gave up on the game and his content. I guess that's just the power of creating a good experience for someone though, like he repaid it a decade later. It's telling that when he's in a bad spot, he still immediately compares it to Minecraft. I feel like f Minecraft Steve, dude. I feel like Minecraft Steve, who just made a dirt hut with no door. He can't just leave Minecraft behind, it's part of who he is. So I decided to go back in. For the first time in half a decade, I turned on the Xbox. Spawned in my wooden house. Sweden faded in. And I just started crying. There was no way Mojang could have known that this random kid from New York would give back to their game in such a huge way. On that note, Go check out the plushie. We might not sell 200, but I'm gonna do my damn best, so there's gonna be a second video this month. Remember to subscribe, like the video, and have a great rest of your day.